Good morning, everyone. We are here at Disney Springs. Happy Magic Band Plus release day. We are here a little bit early. The shops have not technically opened. I didn't know if there was going to be a crazy line to get the Magic Band Pluses. So we are going to head there, grab one, and then we're going to head to a park and we're going to try them out. So let's get started. So it is a beautiful morning here at Disney Springs. There's still not a ton of people here. That'll obviously change in about an hour or so. But we are heading into World of Disney right now. I gotta tell you, in the mornings here, you got some nice music on. You can come here, do a walk, have your coffee. It's a nice way to start the day. Okay, so we just got to World of Disney and a cast member let us know that the Magic Bands are actually not here. They are going to be at another location. So the Magic Bands are at Pin Traders and they have this huge line. Hopefully we get one. That's Toy Story one looks sweet. So this is the charging cable. You don't have to buy one of these. These are always extra, but you know to get one in the box. So many different kinds here. This is crazy. Oh, I like the fireworks one. Check out the Iron Man one. Oh, that's so cool. Tinkerbell with the keyhole. They have a princess one. They have a Hana. They have a Stitch one. I don't know which one I want. I really like this fireworks one. I was trying to find the 50th one, but I don't see it here. So I think I'm just going to get a navy blue one. Or I could get this one. This one's got all the attractions on there. I think we're just going to go with a simple navy blue for now. So I gotta think about which one I really like. As for the older Magic Bands, they're still here. I don't know what the story is gonna be with those. If they're gonna stick around at a lower price or whatnot, I would imagine probably so. But Magic Band Plus, it's here. So we finally have Magic Band Plus here. We just went with the Navy one here. So I think we're gonna go and set it up and then we're gonna go to one of the parks. And open this up. Pull this out. It's like my first unboxing video. Oh, there it is. So on the back, you get the charging cable. This is the end that you're gonna charge the Magic Band on. And then this is the end that's gonna plug into the wall. I'm a little sad that this is not USB-C because this is what everybody is gonna start using soon. Um, but maybe they'll adapt that in the future. So it looks like it just slides out pretty normal. This was easy to take off. So this is the back of the Magic Band here. I'm covering up the code. You can see there's the little charging contacts and then you also have, looks like maybe like a pairing button or a reset button. So we're in our iPhone now and we're gonna choose Link. So it looks like we need to open this. Looks like we need to open the scan. Oh, we just hold it near the device. So we need to go onto the back of the Magic Band, it looks like. Okay, we pressed it, but we need to hold it for three seconds. Okay, it, so it just vibrated. And it looks like pairing is done. Final step, so we need to update the Magic Band. So this is what the update looks like. It takes about three minutes. So we're gonna come back when that's done. Looks like it's turning rainbow colors, which is neat. Well, I'm a big fan of the colors though. So it looks like it tells you your battery level. We can go through and change the light up color. There's settings. Okay, so let's change the color. Ooh, what should we do? I always love blue. Ooh! It shows you. Oh, this is so cool. I'm very sorry, but I'm really fascinated in this. 
I think we're gonna end up going with the ocean blue. Although I kind of like the sky blue too. I think we're gonna do ocean blue. Okay, so let's save that. So you can turn your band light off. You can reduce brightness. You can turn the vibrations on and off. Increase motion recognition. Your band will be more sensitive to your movements during interactive experiences. I think we should turn that on. Connected park experience. If you turn this off, your band will not be able to access Bluetooth enabled experiences in the park. So we want to keep that on. So we want to charge this. It looks like we just stick it on here. And that's what tells you it's charging. My guess is that it probably will, I think it's showing here that it's not fully charged. My guess is when it's fully charged, it lights all the way up. Okay, so something I wanted to show you, I just noticed this while I was playing around with it. If you're waiting in line and you're bored or you're just kind of fidgeting with it or whatever, you can double tap this and it actually will light up. Isn't that cool? And it looks like it lights up to the color that you selected during setup, which you can always change. Okay, so we are in the Magic Kingdom parking lot here. Look at this storm we've got going on. I don't know if it's gonna hit or not, but we're going to go in there. We're going to start the Fab 50 challenge. We see how many statues we can find. We are also going to go and see what it looks like at night. I wanted to post the video earlier, but I didn't want to leave out the nighttime performances with the Magic Bands. So we're gonna take this in and have some fun with it. Okay, so we're about to go in and we're gonna try this out, see what it does. Ooh, it vibrated. That was super cool. So when your fingerprint gets accepted, it lights up and then it vibrates. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have a slight concern that fireworks may not happen tonight because it's supposed to rain all night. So we'll see, it is Florida, so we've got that on our side, but it also could be on our bad side because it's Florida and it could downpour. But let's go find some characters. I can't help but think what kind of technology does Disney have planned behind the Magic Band? Like the fact that it can vibrate, could you make it vibrate a couple times to say something like, hey, check my Disney experience. There's been a change to your lightning lane or your dining reservation or something like that. Like, could you even do something along the lines of like when you're about to go up a roller coaster hill and as soon as you're about to get to the top, it starts vibrating to get you all excited and kind of build the suspense. I don't know, I think there's so much that they could do with it. So we have the Disney Parks Play app open here. We're gonna sign in and I think we're gonna start this. Okay, so here's the Fab 50 challenge. It is pouring right now. We're still gonna do this though. Okay, so it's gonna, you know where it is? So we have to wave and it'll vibrate letting you know you've collected the character. Oh, you unlock AR magic, okay. Pixie dust me. Ooh, look at that. How cool is that? Oh, okay, let's start. Oh, it's lighting up. It's getting, I'm getting closer. So, and then we wave at it. I did it. I did it. It looks like we collected Mickey and we got Minnie. Download to activate. I don't know what I'm downloading. Let's keep walking. The rain stopped a little bit. View Disney Play Friend. Uh-oh. Oh boy, here it comes. I'm gonna take a quick break here. This is interesting to try to film. Move your camera around to detect a wall. Get a good surface. Okay, all right, we can do that. And the rain's coming back. Oh, cool. Oh, Mickey's there. Thankfully, the phone is waterproof. The gimbal, I don't know if that's gonna be okay. Speaking of which, the Magic Band is definitely waterproof. So let's go and collect these ones. I'm getting vibrations here. Let's wave. Oh, that was Pluto. Hey, Enjoy your day. This is so much fun. We're not gonna collect all of them today, obviously, because we'd have to go to all four parks, but we're gonna continue doing this. 
Let's keep going. You know dedication when you're standing out in the rain playing with magic bands. All right, let's get let's get Dumbo here. Well, this one's not lighting up. Oh wait, yes it is. Okay, we're gonna walk and try to find some cover, and we're also gonna look for more 50 statues. Definitely just, we're just gonna keep doing it because there's no point, I'm already soaked. Not really sure what to do here because it's just pouring. It's not flooding, but it's starting to puddle up. They gave me a bag though for my other phone that's not as waterproof. I think we're just gonna walk around and, and kind of hope for the best. Well, you know what we can do? We can walk over and see Stitch, which I wanted to see anyway. So let's go over there. It'll be covered and we'll go from there. I feel like at this point my shoes are already soaked, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh my gosh. They're completely soaked. Here's Stitch. I don't know if it's gonna... Oh, there it is. You can't really hear him, but he's talking. We collected him. Okay, so the rain has settled down enough that I feel like we can go look for some more statues. I'm pretty sure my neck band is ruined. I don't know. It keeps like turning on, so I don't know if it just keeps getting hit, the button's really sensitive, or if it's just shorting out. Don't know. Okay, I've got my eyes peeled. I feel like the orange bird is supposed to be around here somewhere. So I'm looking, I know it's a small statue. I just don't know where it is. All right. There it is. I'd say, I don't think Orange Bird talks. We've got Pooh and Piglet up here. Let's see what they say. Kind of hoping to hear something. Let's go back to the hub. We didn't finish all the characters in the hub. We kind of were interrupted by Florida weather. Oh, let's go see Chippendale. I know, we're getting closer. All right, we've got Donald and Daisy. Let's see what they do. Okay, so my only ask with the Fab 50 scavenger hunt would be that they turn it up, especially on really busy days where there's a ton of people around. It's really hard to hear, so I think they need to turn it up just a little bit. Okay, Taylor, these ones are for you. We're here at the tea party. Let's see what they say. Okay, let's go over to the Mad Hatter. Oh, there it goes. Everyone looks so very good. It must be there on my day. That, you know what? This is one that you can hear it pretty well. So the gimbal is no longer working. I can't imagine why. So we're going to put that in rice when we get home. So we're going to go handheld. Okay, so the rain has stopped, but I don't know if they're going to do enchantment because it's pretty crummy right now. A lot of people left, um, so I don't know what's going to happen. We'll find out, but I'm going to stick around. I want to bring everything to you. I was going to come and do this earlier, but the whole point of me showing up later was because I wanted to show you guys the fireworks and what it does with the magic band, so hopefully that's not in vain. Okay, so some good news. Fireworks are on. They start in about 10 minutes, and if it doesn't downpour, I just got a rain alert, but if it doesn't downpour, it's gonna happen. So hopefully we get to see what the magic band does.
So it is the next day, full disclosure. I got back from fireworks last night. I was just kind of tired and cold and hungry, so filming this now. But anyway, uh, I absolutely love the fireworks show with the Magic Band Plus. This was incredible to see it sync up. I think that they're gonna do even more with it in the future, and I hope they do because this is really impressive. The syncing on this was absolutely incredible. It was pretty much spot on. So I'm sorry about the audio during some of the parts of the video, obviously, Florida weather doesn't always cooperate, but I appreciate you guys watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.